Alright, so I'm in Glacier National Park and about 10 minutes ago I saw my first grizzly bear like on a hiking trail. I've seen it from the car before, but it was like I don't know, 15 feet in front of me. Kind of just made eye contact with the guy and backed up and almost shit my pants. But I just waited like 15 minutes and then kept going. But I'm currently doing Iceberg Lake, I think it's called, and then the Ptarmigan Tunnel. I'm doing them all in one, so it should be like a 15-ish mile day hike but absolutely gorgeous started at 5 30 i was the first one on the trail other than people camping up there so yeah i didn't want to start any earlier for that exact reason of grizzly bear in the dark but all good hopefully i don't see any more up close looking back over my life spent the most of it tongue tied I wish I'd had more time Listening to you speak your mind Now I'm thinking about it Every day on my mind A typical way Are you a life force? Thinking about it Every day on my mind A typical way Are you a life force? All right, made it to the top of the tunnel, which is behind me. You got this dope ass view. So it looks like I'm the first person here. There's someone coming up about half a mile down the mountain, but this is the tunnel. All right, so luckily I didn't see any more grizzly bear on the way up. And right now I'm on the other side of the tunnel. I walked through on the other end. The tunnel's behind me. And this is the view on the other side. Absolutely gorgeous. There's, there's a trail going down the mountain over there. There's a campground over there, but I'm gonna stop here, hang out, and then turn around and head to Iceberg Lake, but gorgeous. So yeah, there's the tunnel. And the only reason they built that is so you don't have to climb over this. And it's probably maybe 50, 60 feet long. Way up over there, it's the tunnel door. All right, so it's currently 5 a.m. I am at the Grinnell Glacier Hike and Two days ago is when I did the Ptarmigan Tunnel and Iceberg Lake Trail when I saw the grizzly bear at like 5.30. It's currently like 5, 10, 5.15. And I got bear spray and I got my knife. So came a little bit more prepared, but there's no one else in the tra in the parking lot. I'm the only car, so I'll be the only one on the trail. So good thing to come prepared. But this is going to be the Grinnell Glacier. Two fingers and a tight line Keep my head above Wish I'd spend more time listening to her speak her mind, thinking about every day on my mind, a typical way. Are you a life force? Thinking about every day on my mind, a typical way. Are you a life force? Thinking about every day. Hey buddy, you gonna let me walk by?
your way, my guy. Oh, you were kind of friendly. All right, so I made it to Grinnell Glacier, which is kind of behind me and next to me at the same time. And there's not too much of it left because it is uh, the like beginning, middle of August. So it's summertime but absolutely gorgeous up here. Uh, I left at like 5.15 and I got up here at like 7.45. So like two and a half hours and that was with me filming and stuff. Uh, and I'm the first one up here, so nice and quiet. I'm sure on the way back, it'll be a zoo with like a hundred people coming up. So that's why I wake up early to, to beat the crowd, but gorgeous up here and I'll show you the rest of the lake. Driving through West Virginia And I've seldom been thinner With that chip on my shoulder And this past year I got so much older So I'm currently outside of Glacier National Park And I'm just chilling right now, I got the truck hamper behind me and cool river, swim or whatever. But um, in about an hour or so, I gotta go pick up my cousin from the airport over in Kalispell. And we're gonna do Glacier National Park, Southern Montana, and then um, Idaho, like the Sawtooth Mountains. But we, we haven't planned anything, so we're kinda just gonna wing it and do whatever we want. So that way if we see something, we can go do whatever. But yeah, he's gonna be here for, I think like nine or 10 days. And I've already been in Glacier for two weeks because um, he was supposed to come out and then he said he wasn't. So I was like, all right, I'll head to Glacier early and just explore it, head up north in the summer when it's hot. And then after being here for a week, he decided to come out uh, the following week. So like I said, I've been here for two weeks and I've explored a lot and I've done a bunch of hikes, um, but I've also saved a lot so that way we can hopefully do stuff that I haven't seen either. And yeah, go from there. But uh, yeah, this will be like a whole week or so with uh, Vinny, Vinny the cousin, and yeah, exploring and doing cool shit with Vinny. Hey, are brother! We, are we videoing? <laughs> the Bayhorn. I feel weird on this side. The oh. Bayhorn.
Where are we going, Thunder Creek? Oh no, that's a strip club. <laughs> Avalanche Lake. Avalanche Lake. Let's get to Avalanche Lake. Put the steps up. It is beautiful. Can I ask you a question while we're here? You may, yeah. What do you think shorter, your attention span or my shorts? <laughs> <laughs> your shorts. Avalanche Lake. Vinny and Jimmy. Driving through West Virginia. And I've seldom been thinner. With that chip on my shoulder. And this past year I got so much older. Looking back over my life Spent the most of it tongue-tied I wish I'd had more time Listening to you speak your mind Now I'm thinking about it every day On my mind a typical way Are you a life force? Thinking about it Every day on my mind, a typical way. Are you a life force? Yeah, we hiked Avalanche Lake. I think it was about six miles round trip, so we're at about three now. And after this, we're not sure what we're doing, but. Been hanging out here for the past hour or so and, and it's beautiful. Enjoying the views. And it is beautiful. Yeah. Turn you around. Without falling out of my chair. I've been so numb for so many years. Now I'm thinking about it every day on my mind a typical way. Are you a life force? Thinking about it every day on I got dust in my eyes and rust in my mind. I'll be home come next spring. Won't you say you love me later? Bye and bye. All right, so this is our camp spot. So today was a really random day. We were gonna go up to the Going to the Sun Road, but we woke up late. We didn't have reservations, so we went to breakfast and then we're just. Like, let's drive around, see what there is to do. So we drove around Whitefish, and we just went on some random gravel road, and it ended up taking us to this lake that we're at now, which is called Upper Whitefish Lake, uh, which is like a 15 mile gravel road. But we got a spot right on the river, or sorry, right on the lake, which is right here. And right now, Vincent's paddle boarding out there. I only got one paddle board, which kind of sucks because we can't do it at the same time, but um, yeah, better than nothing. But See if you can uh, see Vincent all the way out there somewhere. Oh, there he is, way out there. But yeah, so that was our, our random day, and we're just like, this is sick, so we're just going to camp here for the day. And uh, I think later tonight, we're going to head back into Glacier so we can do going to the Sun Road tomorrow before we head towards Missoula and then uh, Idaho. But yeah, so sometimes random shit works out in your favor. Are you a life force? Thinking about it every day on my mind a typical way. Are you a life force? Thinking about it every day on my mind a typical way.